Penn State, 3-2 victory over Notre Dame, held the 45-31 edge in shots on goal. Over two on the power play, Notre Dame was one four on the power play. Head coach Guy Gadowski, opening statement. Um, I thought it was a great night. I thought the crowd was absolutely incredible. The student section, absolutely incredible. Um, the support we get from the community, the students, the whole atmosphere is amazing, and I thought it was a really good hockey game. Um, quite honestly, I thought we might have played even better last night, but um, it is very, very nice to come away with a win. Did tonight's game kind of feel like a must win for you guys, looking back on the Michigan State series where you only earned two points, and then wanting to you know, come away with some sort of points in a very heavily contested Big Ten? You know what, I'll answer that the way George Lewis, uh, our director of ops, told me. He was like, look, every season has ups and downs, and if our downs, are, are getting points in, in, a, in away games against the 12th ranked team and then a, a loss, out shooting them 53-24 and out chancing them. I, I mean, if that's down, we'll take it. So, no, I, I don't think so. I mean, I don't. I think uh, in this league, again, I'll say it one more time, you can play extremely well and lose. I thought we played extremely well all weekend. Obviously, we've got to refocus on staying out of the box, but other than that, I thought the guys were great. What does it mean for this program to set an attendance record two nights in a row? Yeah, isn't that something? Like, I mean, it, it means, first of all, that this is such a great university and such a great community. Their support is absolutely incredible. And, and usually you'd expect, like right out of the gates, it was awesome, but it's never, it's never wavered. Like, it's just never wavered. And I think, you know, coming out of COVID, I heard a lot of people say, oh man, we get to go back to Google, like we'll never take that for granted again. And so to see back-to-back -back nights setting attendance records, is, it speaks to the great support that the students and the community have for Penn State University. Do you think that home crowd helped, you know, kind of build that momentum going into, you know, going into that third year? Yeah, I mean, look, I think the home crowd has been a huge factor in many of our wins, and tonight was absolutely no exception. So, yes, I mean, there's nothing, the truth is, there's nothing we as coaches can say to motivate the team as much as the Roar Zone does. And uh, we saw it again tonight. Coach, um, just kind of talking about, there was no guy who let down tonight. I mean, or last night. Everybody had energy, everybody had juice on his team. What does that mean to you as a coach, just to see your whole team up and down the roster just going, going, uh, giving max effort? Actually, it's fantastic to see, and it means that we've got an unbelievable strength coach and strength and conditioning department here at Penn State. Like, honestly, they are so good, um, and they have the guys ready to roll. It's, it's, it's all that, but I tell you what, like I said, the crowd helps. You're right, no one let down. Um, everybody was, was, to use your term, juiced. I can't use that term. I'm not using your term. I'll take that back. <laughs> everybody was flying. And uh, and it's great to see it. It's wonderful. I think the crowd deserves a lot of credit, and so does Christina Jeffries, our strength coach. You guys are on a three-game winless streak. How just what's the feel in the locker room right here now, and how good does it feel to get another win? I mean, honestly, like we haven't looked at it that way because we play like you can't just look at the scoreboard and to determine and evaluate your performance. And I think the team has felt very good about our performances. Like I said, last night, to be honest with you, we played better. Um, it's, But it does feel good to, to come away with a win. It always does. But, um, but I tell you what, there's more information that the coaching staff will get from this night in terms of what we need to work on and improve on than we, than we got last night. So we look at it a little bit differently, but the locker room is very happy to get a win. Coach, one of those areas to look at and improve on is the penalties. You guys took a lot of, I, I want to say dumb penalties last night, took a few tonight. What is that kind of, how do you, as a coach, try and build off of that? Well, if you can figure that one out, you got, you've got employment for a long time. Um, <laughs> I think tonight's penalties actually were, were not good. I thought last night, like, I thought there was, um, I, I thought the penalties taken, for example, McMenamins and, and Carter Shades, I still don't know what he got it for going to the net, where, where penalties will kill if you go to the net and get penalties because you're trying to score. I mean, we have no problem with that. I think, I think tonight we took a step back in terms of our mental discipline and what it takes to win hockey games. I mean, power plays are massive. And um, Coach Fisher talked in between periods about when we were on a roll, the number of power plays that we gave up 
game after game, and it's vastly different than this weekend. So yeah, we're concerned about it. We are, um, but just if, I think you asked what coaches do. To, if, good luck. We'll keep trying, but I don't have. There's no guaranteed answer on that one. One would think that you know after last night's performance in that for Ryan Bischel, there'd be no way that he could replicate that performance again tonight. He came pretty close to it again. Um, what was your what was the message? I guess or the difference maker in being able to solve that. That just keep going. Like we really felt again that we played very very well last night, and it wasn't a matter of we have to change this or that. It was just keep doing keep doing what we do and believe that that it's going to go in. And I think that's exactly what you saw. I mean, we didn't change any strategy. We felt really good about what we did last night, and we wanted to continue and just have faith in our game that eventually it's going to pay off. And I think it did. Coach, you fell behind twice in, in this game. Um, we were able to battle back and eventually get the lead. What does that tell you about the willpower and fight this team? It's nice to see. I think we've done a pretty good job of, uh, I think I, I, someone told me, or maybe one of you told me about the stats of first goal, you know, a uh, number of times we score first. And, Obviously, we've been a pretty good team playing ahead, but um, it's nice to see coming back from behind. I think it's, it's great. I think that's what sort of gives the, the team a little more confidence in the, in the locker room. So, very nice to see. Coach, one of the guys that you mentioned, uh, Shade, he had a lights out game tonight. I thought he looked really good, especially confident handling the puck um, in the defensive end. What can you talk, tell me about him and how he's developed uh, just being a young guy in the locker room? So there's three young defensemen that we have, freshman defensemen, Carter Shade being one of them, Jared Crespo, his partner tonight, and uh, Dylan Gratner. And all three of them have been afforded a lot of opportunity to play in different situations, and um, they've all come a long way in a short time. And what it means is that uh, the future looks bright because they are so important right now. Um, all three of them are going to be uh, great defensemen in the Big Ten, and, and Carter specifically is an extremely tough kid. Um, he's got a great head on his shoulders. We talked about his, he moves the puck in quite safely. It's not just that he moves it, he moves it safely. And so he's, I really like his IQ. We knew he was a tough kid and really hard to play against. That's what initially attracted us to him, but we were very pleasantly surprised with how well he, well and safely he moves the puck. A couple more questions for Guy. There was a couple of instances throughout the game where it seemed like the defense, you know, was kind of just looking at the puck a little bit, it might have not, you know, been attacking um, to the play, is there, you know, just something that may have happened during the game, or is it just, you know, I guess the empty net? Well, that's one of the aspects that we are not very like. We did a much better job yesterday than we did tonight, and that's one of them that the coaches talked about between the second and third. Um, I don't know the reason for it. We, it, it's, it's something just to talk about it, but it takes a lot of, like, to to take away time and space and defensively, both when you're accepting the rush and in defensive zone, it's taxing. It's very taxing. So. You can't just say it and then it happens. I mean, you really have to be physically committed to it, and you know, possibly it's because this is a, this is a tough team. It's physical, and maybe maybe uh, it was a you know starting to get the wear and tear. Possibly it's just a guess. So I don't know the reason, but yes, that was different than last night. Coach, there are games known for their more defensive style of their style team, but and they they brought to the table both teams. But tonight it felt more like. They're kind of agitated as opposed to just playing their defensive style. Did you take note of that? Do you think there was more on both sides for both teams? Do you think there's more like kind of butting heads tonight on the ice? More? I don't think so. I mean, it's Notre Dame. So, sort of, I think every game's sort of been like that. Um, I don't think it was particularly chippy in any way. It's just Big Ten hockey and Notre Dame. and. Way it goes. Final question for Guy. Um, John kind of gave me a little bit of grief um, today before the game about my attire. And I have a question about your attire. Was the tie specific for tonight for the Whiteout? Yeah, and I really appreciate you dressing up for the Whiteout as well. <laughs> I dressed up for the Eagles win tonight. Oh, okay. okay. And I specifically wore green because I knew Notre Dame was green. Well, I, I will echo John's sentiments on that one. Is that cool? Yes. All right. Hey, have a great weekend. Thank you very much. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.